Hey, get out of there. You're not in this scene. Little camera whore. Yeah, so whenever I finish a project, uh, well, I like to put my name on it. And uh, a lot of you know I usually use these engraved nameplates that I make. There's a video on these, by the way, link in the description. Uh, but when I was making those stacks of brewery signs a couple of weeks ago, I didn't want to make several dozen of these, so uh, I just stenciled them. And I realized I should probably make myself a branding iron for stuff like that. The thing is, I always like to include the year that I complete a project, you know, for after the world collapses and the archaeologists can use my Sputniks to identify the strata. And since I don't expect to use it all that often, I don't have to make an entirely new branding iron every time I need to use it each year. So I thought I would try making one that's modular with a changeable date. By the way, super fans of this channel might notice that my robot looks a little different now. Inventables recently released a new and improved version of the X-Car, which now includes as standard many of the upgrades that I've made to mine over the years. And they've replaced the old router with a new Makita, which has a wider RPM range, which is especially useful when you really need to slow things down for something like this. Oh, a uh, quick tip, uh, brass tends to be a little grabby, so you want to file down the rake on the end of any drill bits you intend on using in brass. Uh, I just use a, a diamond hone that Trend Tools sent me to try out. Thanks, Trend. Uh, I'll put a ClickSpring link down in the description. He explains it a lot better than I can. Uh, uh, it's backwards. Actually, it's, it's not backwards. It's supposed to be backwards. Okay.
carbide tools aren't real wood turning tools. Well, this isn't a real wood turning lathe and I'm not a real wood turner. Yeah, not the best. Looks like those were a little too close. Not too bad. And since I never did get around to putting my name on the two two by four challenge stool that I made a few years ago. There are certainly some improvements I could make, but I'd say it's a pretty good proof of concept. Huge thanks again to Inventables for sponsoring this project. I love working with those guys. If you'd like to get one of the new improved X-Carves for your own, follow the link below. Also, I wanna let you guys know that I have only a handful left of my Furter Burner Mini Wiener Grills. With the way the mail went last year, I can't promise that they'll make it in time for Christmas at this point, but with the price of steel right now, I don't know when I'm going to be making another batch of these. So if you're planning to get one, you should probably order now. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram and check out my Patreon page for bonus content. Thank you again for all of your support, guys, and stay tuned.